Hi, this is a quick look at a, a reissue of the um, US 7th Cavalry from, from Airfix. I got I bought these from Classic Toy Soldiers back in May 2020. At the time they were going for $30. Now I see there's a very limited number left there at that size and they're going for $60 now. So I got them before they went up in price. These are reissues, so um, the colour of the plastic before I painted them was kind of a dark blue colour. Originally, the Airfix 7 Cavalry came out in 1975 or 1976. Those figures were cream colour. I don't know when the reissues came out. I don't know. I don't have a clue when. Maybe 1990s or 2000. I don't know. Um, they are very nice figures. Um, not very historically accurate, but um, kind of old school kind of toy soldier really. Um, 12 figures, 6 horses. Six mounted, six unmounted, uh, 11 poses, and the horses come in two poses. They painted it really nice and were nice and kind of nice detail on them. This figure, first of all, again, a very kind of Hollywood style, you know. I resisted the temptation to paint the, the neckerchiefs or bandanas all yellow. And there is a temptation as well to paint all the sides of the soldiers and um, pants in yellow stripes. It was only the NCOs or officers that had yellow stripes, so I just, you know, for some historical accuracy, I, I just kind of bypassed that. This figure here, and the sabre and the revolver. Very nice figures of paint they were, I'd say. Nice kind of crisp detail. Uh, uh, prone position. This one I did paint, the bandana yellow. Sabres. The US Cavalry wouldn't have had, <clears throat> didn't really use sabres that much really after the American Civil War. They're more used for on the parade ground. So again, kind of very Hollywood kind of look. This one I did paint a yellow stripe and the pants slash trousers. But he does look kind of officer looking. Look, it does look kind of officer, lo officer like. So. Running, <clears throat> running pose or <clears throat> good. And this last dismounted figure. I think the rifle or carbine is. I think of it. I think it's the Sharps carbine, I think. The one they used before the 1873 Springfield carbine. Can I really like the detail in the figures? You know, crisp and clean. And, and they were very nice to paint. Now, the mounted figures, um, of all the figures on the set, this is probably my favourite one, even though it's the most, well, least accurate. And I don't know, the idea of a bugler and a flag bearer, or guidance as they were called, swallowtail guiding. Um, it's kind of like two jobs at once, which is kind of, well, a bit silly, but you know, I, I, I don't know, something about this figure I like though.
the red over white guide. Um, they were not used. That that's that um, those colours weren't used between eighteen sixty two and eighteen eighty two. I think. So if you see any cutters last stand, diorama with a red over white guiding, I uh, know it would have been um, stars and stripes. The guidance would be in that time. And this, I mean, this flag is fantasy. They wouldn't have had seven over the the, the cross sabers and. But uh, it is a nice looking figure, though. Even though it is fantasy, really. And uh, the buglers would also have. Um, I painted this horse white in purpose because the buglers usually rode on white horses or grey horses. Grey horses are called. This is the is the I said there's eleven figures. These are the two that are the same. So yeah, you know, shooting with the carbine. And you can see the two um <clears throat> the two horse poles that come in the set. That horse pose and this one. This so, one firing his revolver. Call forty five. Again, very Hollywood with the gauntlets and all. And gauntlets are private purchased by by um the soldiers. And the braces are the the um or suspenders. Again, I think that's more kind of Hollywood as well. Although I think they were more common in the 1880s or 1890s, um, I think. Uh, I think And the last one, trooper yielding a saber. So that's it there anyway. That's all the figures. I wasn't intentionally originally going to get these figures at all, but just I just I don't know, out of the blue I just decided to get them. Um they are you know, nice you know, old school vintage style figures. Yeah, and these are only reissues, not the originals, but I don't know when the reissues came out. So I haven't a clue how all the set actually is. Um but it was lovely to paint and I'm I'm glad I bought them. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.